What's going on, guys? I uh, figured while well, I have a little bit of extra time, you know, Fridays it's easier for me to do uh, videos, so I figured while well, I have a little bit of extra time, I'm going to do kind of a combination video. Uh, I thought it was supposed to be part three of the shelf update, but I guess it's part four. I don't remember doing the third one. Um, so I'm going to finish that in this video. I'm also going to give you a, a quick tour of some of the new stuff I've hung up around the room. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Uh, we'll pick up right where we left off. Uh, just to let you know, I did, uh, after my update video from last week, the one that, or earlier this week, whenever it was, it was kind of all choppy. Um, I did start putting some things away, uh, back in the proper order, so some things might be uh, out of place on the shelves, but we'll go through it, uh, show you what we got. Let's get to it. Right, before we get to the, um... Shelf by shelf. I just want to show you guys some of the new posters that I finally got to hang up and frame. Um, I got these three here off the, a seller on eBay. I got them each for 12 bucks, and I got the frames um, for like 24 or so. I thought they came up pretty awesome. Um, of course, we got the Bride of Frankenstein. Uh, this is the Terminator. It's the Polish poster. I actually saw this at a Polish restaurant in Los Angeles. Um, and didn't really think twice about it. I liked it, but... I saw it on eBay. Um, I really wanted to get it. And then I did a video on this one before. It's movie Them, which is one of my favorite uh, monster movies. Really, really want a Blu-ray release. Uh, next up, we got this cool uh, poster of A Clockwork Orange, which uh, is a great Kubrick movie, but I'm thinking of replacing this with a 2001 Space Odyssey poster. Um, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Um, then we're going to go over to this side here. You know what, let me step around the room this way. Sorry, the bed's in the way, guys. So, uh, we got Jaws. This poster I've had for a long time. Uh, one of my other new ones here is The Empire Strikes Back. The, the Jaws picture uh, I showed in another video. Uh, I'm thinking, actually, keeping the Kubrick... Clockwork Orange one over there, and the seller on eBay that sold this to me also has a 2001 Space Odyssey that's the same size, so I'm thinking of putting it right below it because there's an odd empty space on my wall. Uh, and then I got The Creature from the Black Lagoon, another one of my favorite monster movies uh, from Universal. And then over here, we just have a John Coltrane poster, which I have not framed, but it's behind the door, so... You know, whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the shelves. Uh, so we got To Rome With Love. Romeo and Juliet, which I watched so many times in high school. Role Models, a movie I'll never get sick of. The Rover, which I've yet to watch, but really want to check it out. Ruby Sparks, the other movie from the people that did Little Miss Sunshine. The Rum Diary, uh, man, I had high hopes for this movie. One of my favorite books ever, and uh, I, I, I was let down, I think, because of because of my hopes. We got Run Lola Run. Uh, it's a concert video. It's Rush Time Machine live in Cleveland from 2011, I believe. And we got Safety Not Guaranteed. Saving Private Ryan, the Sapphire series. Say Anything. Uh, Scanner Darkly. Schindler's List, in this uh, cool little digi pack. It's a little bit beat up. Thank you, Amazon. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Like the movie, but definitely my least favorite of Edgar Wright's films. Secret Life of Walter Mitty with the uh, Walmart. Uh, exclusive slipcover. Um, I like this movie. I don't got a lot of hate, but I enjoyed it. Semi Pro, funny movie. Falls. We'll get that later. Serenity. Haven't watched. Uh, haven't finished Fly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Haven't finished Firefly yet. Try saying that ten times fast. So, <laughs> so I haven't watched Serenity. Yet. Serious Man. This is on my list of must see Coen Brothers movies that I just haven't got around to. <laughs> Sex Lies and Videotape, Shark Water, which is a um, pretty good documentary about um, you know, a group of people that are trying to uh, basically stop shark finning and save sharks and stuff like that. I, I really enjoyed it. 
side effects. Uh, Sugar Ross Innie. Uh, it's a pretty cool set. Uh, I went over to one of my other videos, so check that out, guys, if you're interested in seeing more of it. And of course, it won't go back in. <laughs> uh, we got the Silence of the Lambs with the faceplate on it. Sin City. A single man. Single shot. Um, I love Sam Rockwell. He's definitely one of my favorite actors. And he did a really good job with this movie. I just think that the movie suffered from being a little bit too long, uh, a little bit too drawn out, and just almost like too much story going on. Um, and I think it was a, a pretty good like neo noir, but it just uh, I think it hurt itself by being uh, having too much of a story. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Sinister. I haven't watched that yet. Picked it up because uh, it's got Ethan Hawke in it. The Sitter picked this up because it's got Sam Rockwell in it. Otherwise, not really that great of a movie. Shame. Michael Fassbender is great. Shoot him up. Just a fun, fun movie. Short Term 12 picked this up because my brother highly recommended it. I have yet to watch it. really cool documentary movie concert thing uh, shut up and play the hits it's the very loud ending of lcd sound system if you guys haven't seen this or if you haven't listened to lcd uh, you got to check them out they're fucking awesome uh, sleeper snatch snowpiercer uh, one of my favorite films of this year So I married an axe murderer. Uh, social network. Some like it hot. Sound City, another fun documentary. Dave Grohl's awesome. Source Code, Duncan Jones's follow up to Moon. Uh, not as good as Moon, but not many movies are in my opinion. But Source Code was still very, very really good. South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. And lastly, on this shelf, we got Space Jam. The bottom shelf here. We got Spartacus with the gold uh, Academy Award sleeve. Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3. Spring Breakdown. I got this for like $1.25 on eBay. Uh, besides that, I don't know much about the movie. <laughs> Sorry, as I'm trying to get this camera to be a little bit more comfortable, I'm uh, kind of stuck in the ground here. <laughs> Star Trek, Abrams version, Star Trek Into Darkness. I really liked this in the theater when I first saw it, um, and then after watching it again, I just wasn't that into it. I don't know. The first one's a lot better. This is the Target exclusive version. Starship Troopers, great, great movie. Uh, the Sting, with uh, Paul Newman and Robert Redford. Stranger Than Fiction, one of my favorites. Sunset Boulevard. Sunshine, haven't seen this in a while, but absolutely love this movie. After seeing Interstellar, I've actually really wanted to check this out again recently, so I have to get around to that. Super 8 with the awesome slipcover. Uh, I gotta get the yellow slipcover when it comes off. Yeah, it's a completely different you know, image. Um, which I really enjoy. I really like when studios do that. I feel like there's a gives it a purpose for having a slipcover. Um, I loved Super 8. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. You know, it's basically Abrams um, paying homage to Spielberg, who is one of my favorite directors. So it was really cool to see that. Of course, you get Super Bad. Uh, the Switch. Take Shelter. Taken, which was great. Taken 2, which I haven't seen yet, and haven't heard many good things about. Talladega Nights. Taxi Driver in the Digi Book. Digi Pack, rather. Um, got the last copy of Best Buy when I bought it, and it's a little bit beat up, but whatever. Um, probably my favorite Scorsese movie. I got Ted. Teen Wolf. Uh, Terminator. Terminator 2, 
Terminator Salvation, one of the first Blu-rays I ever got. Got it as a Christmas gift. Uh, God, the year it came out on Blu-ray, whatever year that was. Right. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. They came together. The Thing. The original. Uh, this is 40. Zoom in a little bit here. Uh, Thor. Thor, the Dark World with the Target exclusive uh, slipcover with Loki on it. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. I've yet to finish that. Uh, to Catch a Thief. Cary Grant, Grace Kelly, Hitchcock movie. Uh, Top Gun. Total Recall, the mind-bending edition. I believe this is the one that has the better transfer. Uh, at least I hope. That's the reason I bought it. Touch of Evil. Great, great Orson Welles movie. Really enjoyed that. Uh, the Town. Solid Ben Affleck movie. Training Day. Great performance by Ethan Hawke. Trance. Don't know much about it. Picked up for pretty cheap. Tree of Life. I uh, loved this movie. The cinematography is beautiful. Uh, I gotta watch it again soon. I really do. Trick or Treat. Picked this up for Halloween and never got around to watching it. And lastly on this shelf, the classic. Troll 2. Watch this if you haven't seen it and make sure you're drinking and playing along to the drinking game. This is the last shelf. It's a new shelf for me. I had to move it down here because I ran out of space. We'll, we'll get right to it though. Uh, we got True Grit. The Coen Brothers remake. I just fell right off the shelf. <laughs> True Romance. Uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Under the Skin. Up. The Usual Suspects. I love how I forgot the twist in that movie, so next time I get to watch it, it's like I'm watching it for the first time all over again. The Visitor. Wanted. Warhorse with my own custom art because I accidentally bought the DVD Blu-ray combo pack where it came in a DVD case. That's why this doesn't really fit all that well and you can tell a shitty of a job I did cutting it and the actual image isn't that high quality. Warm Bodies. Fantastic movie in Warrior. The Way Way Back. We Bought a Zoo which I really enjoyed. What Dreams May Come, When You're Strange, uh, it's a film about the doors narrated by Johnny Depp, great movie, or great documentary, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, uh, really want to get the slip cover for this, um, gotta figure out where I can do that, Wolf of Wall Street, ordered this on Amazon for 10 bucks and it came with the slip cover, I was shocked, wasn't crazy about the movie though, um, I bought it so I could rewatch it and I just haven't had the uh, desire to do so. I'll get around to it. Wolverine. This one goes this way for some reason. World War Z, Target exclusive. The Wrestler. X Men First Class with the Magneto slipcover. X Men Days of Future Past. Young Adult. Uh, You're Next. Zodiac, my favorite David Fincher film. Zombieland. Uh, 10th anniversary of 10 Things I Hate About You. 127 hours. 28 days later. Great Western remake and 310 to Yuma. 30 days a night. The way a vampire movie should be made. 42. 50 50. If you want to laugh and cry all at the same time, watch 50 50. Um, 500 Days of Summer, and 9. Uh, also, while we're here, I might as well just show you. This is my DVDs of some foreign films I got. Um, this is one I need to upgrade on Blu-ray as soon as possible. I'm trying to zoom on here a little bit better. Um, the focus, rather. Uh, Amelie, great movie if you haven't seen it. Um, then we got a movie that's not available on Blu-ray yet. Morris Peros, one of my favorite films ever. Uh, Babel. 
Diving Bell and the Butterfly. Haven't seen the movie, but I read the book. Uh, the Counterfeiters, heard great things about it, have yet to watch it. Ghost in the Shell, uh, just got released on Blu-ray, I'm thinking about upgrading. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, Char's Counter-Attack. Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, Endless Waltz. Levy and Rose, great performance by Marion Cotillard. Let the Right One In, another example of the way vampire films should be done. Lives of Others, great German film. Pan's Labyrinth, another just great, great, great film. Triplets of Belleville. The White Ribbon uh, by Michael Haneke. And 21 Grams, um, same uh, director as it, Ella. Is it Alejandro? Is his first name? Yeah. Alejandro Gonzalez and Aritu. Who also just did Birdman, which I need to see. And then we got my autographed picture of Adam McQuaid holding up the Stanley Cup. Uh, go Bruins. So yeah, that's it guys. That's my uh, the rest of my shelves. Um, you know, the posters in my room. See the clockwork orange and jaws right here. Um, a couple of foreign DVDs uh, I got going on. Uh, so I figured I just wanted to keep you updated. I, I got a few other things that will be in my update video probably within the next two weeks. Um, but as of the moment, I think you guys have seen just about everything. Unless you want me to go ahead and do a DVD update video. Uh, I'll do it if you yeah, want. Most of my DVDs have just kind of found their way onto the shelf. Um, kind of stacked under books and stuff. But they kind of go all the way back into there. Uh... And then of course you got you know like TV series, Monsters, The Wire, Lost on this shelf here. Another stack of DVDs down here. Um, and I got more in the other room. Give me like some. these shelves here that have uh, even more DVDs on them. I, I mean I started collecting DVDs when I was young, so I got a bunch of them. And if anyone wants me to go more in depth, let me know. I'd be glad to do it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, guys, send me request videos. Uh, comment down below what you think of the collection. Um, and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks, guys.